Thanks for watching. Today we're going to take a look at this unique machine called a radius brake. Many people ask the question, why does it look the way that it looks? How do those rollers work? What will it do that a regular sheet metal brake won't do? Because it is a unique design, we're going to take a look at what it does, how it works, and what kind of parts you can build with a machine like this. First of all, a regular sheet metal brake oftentimes can be equipped with a nose bar or a radius bar. That will get you up to about a half inch or a five inch radius. With a radius brake, using large top tubes, we can actually wrap the material around these tubes and create much larger radiuses. So for example, to build a part like this, where we have two different bins and a nice large radius, a sheet metal brake won't do it for us. We could possibly try to figure out how to finagle this into a slip roll and make a 90 degree bend, but getting it true on the other side for a nice symmetrical part would be really difficult. You slide your material in between your two rollers. These rollers will adjust up and down. That way you can put a larger or smaller tube on the top. This bottom roller is going to be used no matter which top tube we use. It stays stationary. It purely wraps the material up and around the forming tube. I've got a piece of 50 thousandths aluminum. Slide this through our rollers. I have my heights adjusted. Grab my handle. My counterweight will help me. It will wrap the material up and around. And just like that, we've created a nice large radius in our material. Great for aluminum work to keep from cracking or stressing the material. This particular four foot model is the smallest one in our lineup. It comes with six different radius tubes. So I can accomplish anything from a pretty tight radius such as this one inch on this side. This is a one inch tube giving us about a half inch radius. And on this side you can kind of see that larger more gradual bend like what we just made. This is a four foot piece of 16 gauge. So again, six tubes come with the four foot model, 16 gauge capacity. But if I want to vary my radiuses a little bit larger than those tubes, I drop that bottom roller down and I can make it pretty much whatever I want to make it. This four footer comes with counterweight. Our six foot model comes with five different radius tubes, dual counterweights, also rated for 16 gauge capacity. And then we have a long 8-foot machine that comes with two counterweights and five radius tubes as well with an 18-gauge capacity. You can check out more about the specs um, on the website, talk to your dealer. The other cool part about this machine is all the tubes that come with it are going to have a storage rack on the back side. So you can see a few of our tubes lined up back here. You don't have to worry about those tubes being stored in another place in the shop or laying on the floor. They're going to be right with your machine at all times. Okay, we talked about capacities at full length. Question, can you do a thinner piece of material or a narrower piece of material in a thicker capacity? Yes, you can. So you want to make a bracket out of, say, quarter inch material. Coming down to the end of the machine with a narrow piece of material, we can make, um, we can make brackets beyond the capacity of the machine at full length. So check that out on the website. We also give you some ideas there on what's possible with this machine. So you're not necessarily limited to that 18 or 16 gauge capacity if it's a narrower piece of material. That will give you a lot of flexibility of making some cool brackets and some smaller parts as well.